Welcome to this 60 minute flow. Come to child's pose, breathing deeply through the nose. As you breathe through the nostrils, slightly constrict the back of the throat to make a gentle oceanic sound with the breath. If you find yourself becoming distracted, use your breath as an anchor and come back to it throughout the practice. Reach the arms out for puppy pose. Spread the fingers to establish a connection to the earth. Return to either of these poses at any time for a more restorative practice. Listen for those internal cues. Lift to all fours for up cat, down cat. Inhale, look up to the sky. Exhale, look down and round the spine. Inhale, arch your spine. Exhale, to round. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. And return to all fours. Tuck the toes, lift the knees slightly to build some heat. Lift your hips towards the sky for downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet, spread through the fingers, lengthen the spine and bend the knees if required. Slowly walk feet to the hands, hands to shins and inhale halfway lift, exhale fold, inhale bend the knees, lift the arms towards the sky, stand and draw the hands to prayer at heart centre. Close your eyes and take a few breaths here, take a moment to pay gratitude towards yourself for taking time out today connecting with an intention for your practice. Open your eyes, inhale, arms to sky. Exhale, bend the knees and fold. Hands to shins, inhale, halfway lift. Step your feet back to a high plank. Gently draw the knees to the earth. Untuck the toes and lower in a supported variation of chaturanga, which you will use until you've built the strength for the advanced variation. Lift into Cobra Pose. Slowly and make your way back to Puppy Pose. Remember to return here anytime. Downward Dog. Stretching out the arms, legs and back as you check in on how you are feeling. Slowly step forwards. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift arms to the sky. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Step or float back to high plank. Either do previous modified chaturanga or if experienced, move to low plank and into upward facing dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale your right leg to the sky and exhale foot to hands for a low lunge. Left knee to the ground and reach arms to the sky. Breathe. Return hands to the earth and step back to downward dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky. And exhale, low lunge. Gaze forwards. And allow your breath to flow. Return hands to frame left foot. Downward dog. Step or float to the top of the mat. Inhale, half a lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, brush the fingers along the earth 
and come into chair pose. Reach the arms high and sit bones toward the earth. Draw the hands down to prayer and fold forwards. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or float back. Chaturanga, or come to downward dog, or rest in child's pose. Inhale, right leg high, fold the knee to open the hip. Step to warrior one, ground the back foot to the earth, arms high, find your focus point. Draw the shoulders away from the ears and breathe. Interlace the fingers behind you for humble warrior. Inhale to lengthen the spine and exhale, fold forwards. Take your gaze to the back foot as you release through the shoulders. Inhale, return to warrior one. Exhale, frame front foot. Step back to Chaturanga. And return to Downward Dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, Warrior One. Humble warrior, interlace the fingers behind you, lengthen the spine, and exhale forward. Draw the crown of the head to the earth. Inhale and return to warrior one. Exhale, step back to Chaturanga. And return to Downward Dog. Bend the knees and step or float forwards to the top of the mat. Step your right leg back and ground your right hand to the earth left hand to the sky. Reach your left hand behind you and roll on to the outer blade of your right foot for a revolved lizard. Draw left hand to the hip, step left foot back along the mat and lift the hips for modified side plank. Option to lift to full side plank. Add on wild thing by stepping the top leg behind you grounding the foot to the earth. Feel free to back bend and open the chest further. Return the leg, down the dog. Either stay here or come through your variation of Chaturanga. Return to down dog. Step or float forwards to the top of the mat and inhale halfway lift. Step your left leg back and ground your left hand to the earth, right hand to the sky. Reach your right hand behind you and roll on to the outer blade of your left foot, revolved lizard. Right hand to the hip, 
step right foot back along the mat for modified side plank. Option for full side plank. Add on wild thing by stepping the top leg behind you, either side stretching or back bending. Lift the leg high to the sky and slowly return it for downward dog. Step or float forwards to the top of the mat and halfway lift. Exhale, release, and inhale to return to mountain pose. Take a few breaths here. Prepare for hand to toe pose by grounding the left leg and lifting the right knee or foot with the right hand. Open the hip and invite the leg to the right for extended hand to toe pose. Breathe and focus on a spot in front of you, both legs engaged. Release and come to the opposite side. Strong shoulders down away from the ears. Open the hip and invite the leg to the left for extended hand to toe pose. Engage the muscles around the left hip and draw the core in and up. Release. Chair pose. Reach the arms as you bend deeply into the knees. Bring the hands to prayer and come to revolved chair pose. Right elbow to left thigh. Deep breath as you reap the benefits of the twist here. Inhale to return to center. And exhale, opposite side. Return to center and fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or float back to Chaturanga or Downward Dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, step the foot between the hands. Ground the back foot to the earth and windmill arm to warrior two. Gaze beyond the hand with an open mind, firm feet into the mat. Reversed warrior, left arm to the thigh, right to the sky. Contract the left side of the body for right side body opening. Find your side angle pose by drawing the right forearm to the right thigh and left arm to the sky. Feel free to add on by placing the right hand to the earth, further to this half or full binding by folding your left arm behind you. The right arm can fold under the right leg for a full bind if your shoulders allow for that range of movement today. Opening through the shoulder and chest, release the gaze. Return to warrior two, breathe, paint the sky, reversed warrior. Lengthen the front leg for reverse triangle. Keeping a micro bend in the knee, engage the core and tilt the torso forward for triangle pose. Right hand to the shin. Bend into the front knee and find reversed warrior once more. Inhale and windmill both arms inside the right foot for lizard pose. Leave the back leg high or release the knee to the ground. 
you can widen the right foot, roll on to the outer blade, depending on where you need the stretch in the hip, rest on the hands or forearms as you invite the hip to open. Step back, option to chaturanga or return to downward dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, warrior two. Gaze beyond the hand. Reversed warrior. Right arm to the thigh, left to the sky. Side angle pose. Left forearm to the thigh. Feel free to add on left hand to earth, half or full binding. Return to warrior two. Reversed warrior. Lengthen the front leg. Reverse triangle. Tilt forwards for triangle pose. Bend the front knee and reverse your warrior once more. Inhale and windmill. Both arms inside the left foot for lizard pose. Rest on the hands or forearms for a deep hip opener. Breathe. Step back to high plank, chaturanga, or return to downward dog. Lift your right leg high and fold the knee to open the hip for three-legged dog. Option to come to wild thing by placing the right foot to the earth behind you. Lift the hips, reach the arm overhead. Release the gaze first. Lift the leg high as you return to downward dog, perhaps via chaturanga. Lift your left leg high and fold the knee. Three-legged dog, a wild thing. Left foot stepping behind. Lift through the hips, reaching the arm overhead. Lift the leg high as you return to downward dog or chaturanga. Step the left foot between the hands. Lift the hips high and walk the hands and body around for wide stance forward fold. Reach the hands to anywhere comfortably on the legs. And inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Ground the right hand and lift the left arm to twist the upper torso open. Full breaths here. Return 
and swap the hands over, left hand into the earth. And draw the energy from the earth up through your entire being. Release. Walk the hands back to frame the front foot and step back to plank, chaturanga or downward dog. Inhale, lift the right leg high and exhale. Place it between the hands for a high lunge. Lift the arms, gaze forwards and relax the jaw. Eagle pose. Bring the left arm beneath the right and wrap the arms. Stay here or for a challenge, step the left leg up and over the right and wrap the legs. Breathe and draw the sit bones to the earth. Inhale to release and lift the left leg up and return to high lunge. Option to add on and lift the arms to the sky and back bend. Unravel the arms and return hands to prayer for revolved side angle pose. With the left elbow drawing into the right thigh, release the arms, step back through chaturanga or return to downward dog. Inhale, left leg high, and exhale, high lunge. Lift the arms and gaze forwards. Prepare for eagle pose. Right arm beneath left. Wrap the arms, and step the right leg up and over the left. Soften through the shoulders, and engage the arms and legs. Inhale to release and lift the right leg up and return to high lunge. Option to back bend. Unravel the arms or return hands to prayer for revolved side angle pose. Right elbow drawing into the left thigh. Release the arms. Step back through chaturanga or meet in downward dog. Step or float to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift the arms to the sky and exhale. Mountain pose. Step back along the mat and take the feet wide for a squat. By bending the knees to your degree today. Stay in this groin stretch. Or come into crane pose. Firm hands to the ground. Bend the elbows, lift the hips, gaze forwards and lean into the arms with core activated option to lift the knees to the triceps. Perhaps the feet come off the ground. Return back to squat. Return high plank, chaturanga or downward dog. To a high kneel for camel pose. Hands to sacrum. Draw the elbows toward one another and lean the pelvis forward. Beam the sternum to the sky and gaze forwards or behind. You can add on if it's in your range and bring the hands to the heels. As soon as you are ready, Come to child's pose and surrender.
stay here or return for a variation of camel by folding the right leg towards you and reaching the right hand to the foot for a deep quad stretch. You can reach the left arm in front of you or perhaps overhead with a long spine. I like to call this dancing camel, releasing child's pose. This time, fold the left leg towards you and reach the right hand in front. You can reach the arm to the sky. Take deep flowing breaths. Restore in child's pose. Reach the arms out for puppy pose. Walk the arms to the right side of you for a side body stretch. Enjoy the opening as you draw the left hip back towards the earth. Come to the opposite side and repeat, rest the forehead and rejuvenate, breathing space into the side body for ultimate opening. Release the arms and come to the back of your mat for a forward fold. Bend into the knees to bring the palms beneath the soles of the feet for hand to feet pose. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine and exhale to stretch the hamstrings and relieve tension. Release the hands and come to stand by rolling up slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, shrugging the shoulders as you stand. Step to the middle of the mat for tree pose. Engage your supporting left leg and draw the right foot up to your foot, calf or thigh. Hands to hips, prayer, sky. Choose a focus point in front of you to quieten your mind. Your tree may sway but your trunk stays grounded spiritually accepting your body's position in space. Release and come to the opposite side. Right leg strong and grounded, left foot stepping up. Root down through the toes and lifting high to the skies. Some days your balance will be better than others. Just be at peace with your practice today. The exercise of inner peace. release. Now for one of my favourite balances, Lord of the Dance. Fold your right leg behind you and reach your right hand to the arch of the foot. Lift the left arm to lengthen the spine and start to lean forwards, opening your heart in this balance. Release. 
release and repeat on the opposite side. Left hand to the left foot, right hand to the sky. Find your focus point, breathe and tilt forwards. It's a beautiful combination of chest and shoulder opening, back bending and hamstring lengthening. Gaze is still, breathe. Release and step to the top of the mat. Inhale, arms to sky. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, chaturanga or downward dog. Inhale, lift the right leg high. Exhale, draw the knee to the chin. Inhale, lift the leg high. Exhale, knee to right tricep. Inhale, leg high. And exhale to opposite tricep and prepare for fallen triangle. Leg straightens to the left of your mat. Left foot grounds to the earth. Lift hips and arm to sky. One last breath. And return the gaze and the right leg to the sky for downward dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to the chin. Inhale, leg high. And exhale, knee to left tricep. Inhale, leg high and exhale, opposite tricep, fallen triangle, breathe. Release and return the left leg to the sky, downward dog, either stay in downward dog or inhale and come through your chaturanga. Return to downward dog. Inhale forwards to plank and slowly make your way to the earth for locust pose. Lift your arms in front of you and perhaps the legs if you'd like to build more heat today. Engage the back equally to the core and draw the sternum forwards. Hold for a few breaths and then rest your left ear on the mat. Arms by your side. Allow your feet to roll away from one another. The practice doesn't get any easier. You just get stronger. Either repeat locust pose or come into bow pose by folding both legs and reaching for the tops of the feet with the hands. Push the feet into the hands, lift the sternum, breathe deeply and gaze ahead or above. Increasing strength and flexibility of the spine. Rest your right ear to the mat. Breathe and still the fluctuations of the mind. Option to stay here or come into another bow pose. Hands to feet. Stretching the entire front of the body. Monitor your breath. Enjoy the heat through this pathway to surrender. Rest left ear to the mat. Bring your hands beneath the shoulders and draw yourself back to wide-legged child's pose 
and gently rock the hips from side to side. Reach the arms out for puppy pose. Tuck the toes, downward dog. Prepare for pigeon pose. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, fold to open the hip. Inhale, right knee to right wrist. Exhale, settle. Inhale, lift the spine long and exhale, fold forwards, either resting on the hands, elbows or forearms. Honour your body. Observe the passing thoughts whilst the groin and hips receive a deep stretch. Feel free to stay just as you are or add on with a quad stretch by reaching the left hand for the left foot. We are coming into a seated twist. Bring your back left leg around and fold it over your right leg. Reach your left hand to the ground behind you for support and lift your right arm to the sky. Inhale and wrap the arm around the top leg or use your elbow to draw the leg in towards you, stimulating the liver and kidneys. Gaze to left shoulder. Release the gaze first, arms and legs and lean back to balance on your sit bones for boat pose. Modified variation with the hands and toes to the earth. Feel free to add on and lift the legs and arms. Lift the sternum, cross your legs and make your way back to downward dog. To pedal out the feet. Option to come through chaturanga. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, open the hip. Inhale, left knee to left wrist. Exhale and settle. Inhale, fingers earth. Lift the spine long and exhale, fold forwards. Hands, elbows or forearms. Keep the breathing long and deep. If we can regulate the breath, we can regulate the mind. Coming into the quad stretch, right hand to right foot. Release for the twist, right leg comes around and folds over your left leg, right arm behind left to the sky inhale and wrap the arm around the leg or use the elbow gaze to right shoulder twists energize the spine and stimulate the digestive fire in the belly
release the gaze, legs and arms for boat pose, either in a modified variation or full extension. Broaden the collarbones. Boat strengthens the abdomen, hip flexors and spine. Cross your legs and make your way back to downward dog. Feel free to come through your very last chaturanga. Downward dog. Bring your knees to the earth for a well-deserved seat. Head to knee pose. Lengthen your left leg out in front of you. Bend your right knee to draw the foot to the thigh. Inhale arms high to lengthen the spine. Exhale hands to either side of the leg. Reach the foot or interlace the fingers around the foot and fold forwards. Maintain a long spine. Breathe your way into the depth of this pose your body allows for today and lengthen the hamstring. Release and swap legs. Lengthen the right leg, draw the left leg in, inhale arms and fold forwards. Well done on what you've achieved so far today. The Power Flow Yoga is dynamic in its sequencing and allows for exploration and modifications. Every day is unique, so have no expectations and you may be pleasantly surprised. release and come to tabletop by bringing both legs out in front and bending the knees. Lean back into the hands and lift the hips. Engage the arms for strength. Draw the feet into the earth, gaze forwards or behind. Come to cosmic egg between rounds, resting your forehead on your knees and wrapping the arms around the legs. Take full breaths into the belly and rib cage. Come to either tabletop again or challenge yourself and straighten out the legs and point the toes for reversed plank. A few breaths here before returning in your own time to Cosmic Egg. Reach the arms ahead and gently roll down to the earth for some back bending. Prepare for gentle bridge pose, palms face down. Inhale, lift the hips. You can interlace the fingers, drawing the shoulders toward one another and lift the sternum for further opening. A few breaths here. Release a slow and steady vertebrae by vertebrae to the earth. Option to repeat or add on and move into full wheel pose if it's in your practice. Bring your hands to the back of the shoulders. Lift the hips as you engage the legs and arms. Breathe deeply.
protect the neck and tuck the chin to the chest as you return gently. Upon exiting, bring the feet mat width apart. Allow the knees to roll in and release the wrists. Draw the entire spine toward the earth. Rest and restore. Stay here and rest or come into another round of full wheel. release and return. Inversions. Either lift the legs towards the sky or against a wall. Otherwise, come to supported shoulder stand by lifting the legs and supporting your back with the hands. Draw the elbows in line with the shoulders. A few breaths here. Release slowly and safely when your body tells you to. Feel free to add on with counter poses like plow by drawing the knees toward the face or feet to the earth keep supporting your spine unless the feet connect to the earth then you may release the arms to the ground or feet knees to ears drawing the shins towards the earth outside the ears. Gently release back to the earth after a few breaths. Take a supine twist by bending the knees and bringing them to the left side of you. Release your arms out wide and either gaze to the sky or turn to the right, allowing the body to cool down. Repeat on the opposite side by engaging the core first and folding the knees to the right side. Return the legs out long and lay down, preparing for Shavasana, our meditation practice. Prepare for this practice by giving yourself the permission to let go. Turn the palms to face the sky and allow the feet to roll away from the body. Feel your connection between your body and the earth body is completely relaxed, dissolving anything that no longer serves you. Inhale through the nose and exhale out of the nose. Become aware of your breath as it fills the lungs, continuing to breathe through your nose, allowing the belly to rise and fall. Notice sounds around you and accept them as part of your practice today. Continue to breathe deeply.
feel each part of the body from the toes to the crown of the head become heavy. Soften the face, the neck and throat. Sink the shoulders into the earth and allow the mat to support the weight of your body. Relax the arms all the way to the hands and fingertips. Rib cage relaxes and belly softens as it fills like a balloon with each breath. Relax the hips and thighs, calves and feet relax as the heels roll into the earth. Soles of the feet relaxed, toes relax. Continue to relax each part of your body, empowering your body's natural healing process to occur. Body entirely weightless as you rest here, at peace with the world around you, at peace with the world within you.
just did today today. That's flame and run. My job. <laughs> 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 <laughs>